So um, that is um, Collaborative R&D Development and Programs Director. Uh, first of all, congratulations for opening up the R&D Centre in Singapore. Um, before we speak about R&D, we just want to talk about the defence. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the strategic interest between the two nations, France and Singapore. Um, so could you just share with us some of the areas of cooperation and innovation shared between the two, these two nations? Historically, these two nations have a very long-standing family Absolutely. So can you share with us about this? Please? Yeah, we are already uh, involved in the defense from Singapore since uh, almost 20 years mm -hmm. and uh, with surface ship. And so we have a long-lasting uh, uh, collaboration uh, history between the two countries. Mm -hmm. So really, um, Singapore and France are allied in building a um, relationship in their own defense um, ship. So that's the first question. I, I don't know how far you want me to to develop that, but mm -hmm. I, I think that's that's the core. The core of it. Uh, yes, the core of it. Twenty year, uh, years uh, of uh, relation between the two countries and mm -hmm. regarding defense and specifically surface ship. Right, and is that one of the reasons why um, Naval Group has chosen Singapore to be the R and D center? Um, not only because. Um, our strategy regarding R&D development outside France is really to uh, fetch the best talent and the best ecosystem we can find. And regarding R&D in intelligence, um, artificial intelligence, big data, we think that here uh, we will really find the good um, ground and best talent to move on and develop the application we are looking for. Right. So uh, our first really uh, motivation to be in Singapore is due to their own universities and, and the way they started to develop their products. Mm -hmm. I think it's very valuable for mm -hmm. uh, future application in the maritime and specifically defense sector. That's right. So could you tell us a bit more or share with us a bit more about the uh, co-development of the key technologies? Um, so just to let you know, um, we have opened up our um, development to outside, out, I mean outside uh, Naval Group since I would say less than two years. So that's, we did make the, uh, we did recognize that to, to, uh, to move faster, we need to open up to other engineering talents. And uh, so that's where we decided that to uh, really move on with the international development. Mm -hmm. um, and um, choosing, uh, as I said, uh, Singapore was one of our first uh, target. Mm -hmm. The second one is um, for next year, we'll open up a new, another um, R&D center in Australia with different area of expertise. Right. So if I want to, to, share, with to share it with you so yeah. far, um, here we really worked on, as I mentioned a few times, uh, artificial intelligence and uh, IoT, big data or data fusion um, for different applications, specifically probably drones. Um, and, um, and we have a second line of uh, development, which is manuf additive manufacturing for Current uh, application with the, um, uh, the, the 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 frigates uh, here, and also maybe for the future one. So we are moving uh, ahead of, of time on the additive manufacturing in Australia. That will be uh, pretty different. We have other area of expertise, um, which uh, comes from Industry 4.0 and as well acoustic or um, specific very intelligent materials, mm -hmm. uh, for example. So that's a very different area of... Um, so uh, it may be in the future that uh, we already uh, discussed with uh, some um, university in Australia that we may develop in mid-term uh, future uh, some cooperation between universities in Singapore, Australia and us because they have... Um, joint expertise that we would like to, uh, sure. to use uh, on a specific case uh, together. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. It uh, has, been, has been discussed, but yeah. we'll see. Okay. A lot of projects. Okay. 
And being the R&D center, as uh, right. part of it, uh, was a start we are. Yeah, um, to start our activity here, um, back two years back, uh, we went to um, the different university and the different incubators, and uh, we met um, all the, um, the the bodies, entities, and we uh, which are working in the ecosystem of uh, entrepreneurial and innovation. Mm-hmm. Um, but to, for us, that was uh, not enough. We wanted a real start um, on the on on innovation here. So we did organize the Start We Up um, early this year, and uh, we did select a few uh, nice startups. And now we will develop the proof of concept with the startups. And the objective is really to embark this technology. Maybe in the three years' time, we'll see uh, how mature they are and if they are maritime, maritimized enough, I would say, to be embarked in a three years' period of time, but we'll see. But that's the objective. So basically, it's like an incubation process. Yes. It? When you take them through those processes, exactly. we're able to see it. To fit to our need, to fit yeah. our, uh, because we have R&D work ma- uh, roadmap, um, on different uh, subject, and then we need to secure that this application will fit to that roadmap, and any any development has to be embarked at some point, whether it's ten years time or it's next year. Mm. It has to be on the roadmap, mm. more or less. So yes, that's the objective when we do uh, proof of concept. Right, and I must say that the start me up mm-hmm. is a very catchy phrase. It's a it's a very nice way of putting how you want to get the local SMEs involved mm-hmm. and uh, thank you because it was just a brainstorm on uh, I was going to ask you this uh-huh. because um, did it come from Start Me Up because uh, that, I thought that was where the inspiration came from well I think when we talk about startups we have seen and read a lot of different um, headlines or signature around what we wanted is just something which is um, showing that we'll do something together. Right. So it's the we which is important, yeah. we together. Right. So um, as I saw that the three companies were mm-hmm. showing a bit of presentation, um, it looks very promising and uh, I wish you all the best for, for the R&D initiative. And, it's uh, just a start. Start. There's always a start to everything, so right. all the best and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.